All right, what is up, Facebook Live? Today we are talking about solar panels and why they suck and don't add value to your home. When are solo, solar panels a good idea? Solar panels are a good idea if you live off grid. They add value to your home if you have to import power to your house, like have propane delivered or you're on a generator. Solar panels are then a great idea and add value to your home. When do they not add value? Pretty much everywhere else in the residential home sale arena. And it's not my opinion, it is what the buyers are telling us right now. So here's what happened. We have this great house that's for sale and somebody makes an offer this last Friday and by Monday, they called us and said, we're retracting our offer because we don't wanna deal with solar panels. Well, what happened here in Reno is we have this wonderful company that was gonna be the savior of everybody, including the city of Reno. Tesla and they bought out a company called Solar City who makes solar panels. So now Tesla owns all these solar panels across the city of Reno. But the solar panels that are typically leased and they installed them on the house for I think like 20 years or something like that. As a homeowner, you don't pay anything to have them installed on the house um, or you don't pay anything per month to have them leased and it lowers your power bill. Well, these buyers went onto a website and found a problem. And they went on and saw that Walmart is suing Tesla for um, some panels that caught fire on top of Walmarts, okay? Nothing to do with homes catching fire. This is Walmarts that have possibly caught fire because of Tesla solar panels. So these buyers, probably from California, I'm sorry to my friends in California, your state sucks, but probably from California because they're afraid of everything, found something on the internet to be worried about and backed out of a deal because there were these solar panels on top of the house and their house could possibly catch fire. But that's what homeowners insurance is for. And I made sure to call State Farm today and say, hey, if Tesla burns my fucking house down, are you guys gonna cover it? And they're like, well, yeah, it's a fire. Okay, so that's beside the point. Um, solar panels, typically what I'm seeing from buyers right now are a detraction. It's kind of like having a pool in Reno. For a certain number of people who want a pool, which aren't very many in Reno, um, solar panels can be great. But for the most part, solar panels have become a liability because most people have their solar panels leased because people don't want to put $20,000 out when the average time they're going to stay in a home is seven years. It's like you just don't even get your money back. So uh, solar panels, people don't want to be stuck in the lease with the Tesla company who has to come out and maintain the solar panels and then you have to have them taken off your roof by Tesla and then put them back on the roof if you have to have your roof changed. And we have really high winds, so people get their roofs changed a lot with the composition shingle roofs. It sucks. So I'm not seeing solar panels as being a benefit to have put on your house, but here's the thing. I'm not gonna go out of my way to put solar panels on my house because I don't see the benefit. But it also wouldn't stop me from buying a house because it had solar panels. I wouldn't be worried about a fire breaking out. And if it did, I'd call State Farm and tell them my house burned down because of Tesla and they're going to replace it or give me a cash out or whatever, whatever the heck they do. So um, solar panels, guys, I'm not seeing them as a bad. I wouldn't have them installed on my house, but I, it wouldn't stop me from buying a house. So, mm, I don't know, Tesla, solar panels, if you're thinking of it's fine if you're planning to stay there for a long time. If you're gonna stay in the house that you just bought for 15, 20 years, get the solar panels, cool. But the average person, no matter how long they think they're gonna stay in a house, typically stay in a house for about seven years. The only other time solar panels make sense and I'm seeing buyers pay more money for a house with solar panels is if you're off grid and you have to have power um, shipped in from somewhere else. Then solar panels make sense if you're off grid, living 20 miles from town, you can get your own power and that's a different story. So that's my thought for the day. We will see you guys tomorrow.